In the last lesson, we learned that using the periodic table, we can determine the ions that the element will form based on the number of valence electron and based on the group number of group A. In this case, we're going to learn how atoms can work together and bond it together and function as a unit of ion. And these are called polyatomic ions. So polyatomic ions are basically a group of two or more atoms, okay, that are bonded together, but together they function as a single unit or a single ion. Here are some examples. For example here, we have hydronium ion. Basically it's a group of three hydrogen and one oxygen and they function as a unit with a charge of one plus. Here's another example, ammonium. Basically it's a group of nitrogen and four hydrogen and together they have a charge of one plus as well. And over here we have another example which is hydroxide. Hydroxide is basically a group of oxygen and hydrogen. So we have OH minus or one minus charge. So not all of them are going to have a positive charge, some of them have a minus charge. Then we have another example, we have nitrate, basically it's a group of NO3, which is one nitrogen and three oxygen, and together they have a one minus charge. Sulfate is a group of S and O4, so sulfur and four oxygen, but together they have a charge of two minus. Lastly, we have acetate. This one is a very complicated one, but overall it still functions as a unit of ion with a specific charge. So in this case, it is a group of C2H3, 1, 2, 3, O2 with a charge of 1 minus. Unlike the monoatomic ions, the polyatomic ions are basically groups of specific atoms. As you can see, there are no specific pattern that we can use to determine the name and the formula for polyatomic ions. That's why I gave you this list that you have to memorize it individually. However, there are shortcuts that we later will cover how to memorize this common polyatomic ions. But for now, you must know the name as well as the formulas for each of the polyatomic ions in order to be successful in chemistry. Let's go to the list. Here are two common positive polyatomic ions and one of them is ammonium, the second one is hydronium. Those are the only two that are positive. And the rest are all negative ions. 